Welcome to Zenzero Electronics about electronics video. Today I'm gonna show you how I built a God City Studio Brutalist Junior. This is a project by the amazing Core Baloo. I sent him a, one of my pedals, a 2KP, and uh, I think he liked it. He posted on his uh, Instagram, you can see it here. But anyway, he sent me back this one, which is uh, his new project. He printed out these uh, uh, cards, which if properly connected and populated with uh, components becomes a pedal. Uh, in this case, uh, some kind of distortion. What I'm gonna do today is I'm gonna go over the circuit. I studied it a bit. I'm gonna explain it, how it works overall. And then I'm going to show you how I'm gonna build it and uh, a mod. I'm gonna do a really simple mod and I'm gonna show you how to do it. So if you're interested, stay tuned. We're gonna go over the whole process. For this project, I will use this enclosure. It's a bit small, as you can see. It barely fits the PCB, but with some effort, I should be able to make everything fit inside. This particular enclosure is from Zenzero Electronics 2KP. Now, this one was botched at the factory. The holes are not quite in the right place, so I'm gonna recycle it. I just have to scrape off the screen print. The only problem is that it's really tough. I will have to use uh, some nail lacquer remover and a good amount of elbow grease. So let's get to work. In the end, I decided to go for a mixed approach as the nail lacquer remover by itself was not working on this blue ink. I decided to use uh, that together with some paper starting from 600 up to uh, then going 1200, 2000, then some steel wool. I cleaned it off nicely, still has some imperfection. Now I'm gonna finish everything with uh, uh, some microfiber cloth and this uh, aluminum polish. So here is the PCB in detail. It's a pretty cool PCB. It's a four layer design so they could keep it nice and tidy and with uh, shorter traces. There is probably a ground plane inside we don't see and I think also the V bias runs on the inside where you don't see it but you can still see most of the traces for the signal on the outside two layers. The design is comprised of four amplification stages, two for each Op amp. The op amp are gonna go here and here. The first half of the first op amp is uh, a boost with uh, some filtering going on. The filtering uh, reminds me of a, a bit of a rat pedal and it's actually detailed in the documentation if you wanna change it a bit. Then it goes over to the second stage. Second stage is the distortion stage. The diodes do some soft clipping. Well, let's put some quote marks around the soft because probably it's gonna go down pretty hard on there. Then there is a whole bunch of filtering going on connected to the loudness control. Then the third amplification stage is just a unity buffer. And then we have the last uh, amplification stage, which is one more boost with a bit of filtering on the signal. And, and then we have the volume control. The mod I intended to apply is a pretty simple one. 
I'm gonna use instead of a audio taper pot for a volume, I'm gonna use a double linear taper, which is basically two pots in one. It's not that uh, weird nowadays. You can there are one there is one in uh, the clone. There is one or two in the tiny terror by orange so it's a pretty common part what i'm gonna do i'm gonna use half of it for the volume control and the other half is gonna control the gain of the last stage of amplification it shouldn't be a dramatic change in sound or anything i'm just doing it for fun it should just extend the range of the output stage from really quiet to even louder than before. That's it. Here I gather all the components I'm gonna need for this build. I try to be as close uh, as the specifics as possible, except when uh, concerning the mod, where I change a few values. I'm gonna have some um, parallel resistors just for uh, to get closer to the values because I didn't have I didn't have enough the exact part as for the op amps I think I'm gonna experiment a bit and I'm gonna install a TLE 2022 as the first op amp which as I found out in a previous video, you can check out, it's nastier than usual. And as for the second op amp, I'm gonna use an LF-353, which sounds every bit as good as the TL-072, or maybe sometime even better. So now I'm gonna populate the board, and then I'm gonna show you the mod. One thing I noticed is that the space between the holes for the resistors is pretty narrow. So you have to be careful and fold them pretty tight and close to the resistor itself. Now I'm gonna install some resistors here on the back to get the right values where I didn't have a perfect value to begin with. And I was also going to leave uh, these two LEDs, which I'm going to use later for the mod. Above the mod, the idea is to put between these two resistors one half of a double pot I discussed before. So what we have to do is cut the trace that connect this resistor to this resistor. You can, if you have a PCB, you can probably see it. It's really faint, but it's very, it goes in diagonal like that. Then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna attach to these two points on the back, point above the arrow, the two terminals of our pot. So let's try to cut the trace and see if we can get it right. Sorry about the confusion. I'm gonna test continuity between these two points. Yeah, we have continuity. Now I'm gonna cut the trace with my exacto knife. see what we got no connection good now I'm gonna assemble everything else all the pedal all the connectors and then I will show you how to connect to these two points the terminals of a pot 
and completable mode, which hopefully is gonna work. So at this point, I connected pretty much everything. What uh, I'm missing is just the volume mode. I connected all the ports to the respective numbers, being careful not to mess that up, which is really easy. And it happens to me quite a lot. Um, I'm not too worried about this extra wire. What's gonna, because I chose this more, really small enclosure I'm not gonna have a support for a PCB so this what uh, this extra wire is gonna do is gonna push the PCB against the back of a pedal and keep it in place I'm gonna insulate the back of a pedal with some electrical tape and that should be fine now what's missing is the mod half of the volume port I connected to volume the other half, I'm going to take pin 1 and 2 and connect it to exactly this one and this one.
So this is it, my build of uh, Brutalist Junior by Ghost CD Instruments of Corbalu. The, the mod worked out fine. It's not too extreme, a bit cleaner on lower volume, a bit more extreme at our higher volume. If you heard it, it just starts squealing and squeaking and uh, maybe that's what you want so this mod will be for you uh, if you like this video please check out my other videos and Zenzer Electronics where I build my pedals and uh, of course check out uh, Corbalu and Ghost City Instruments mm, that guy is awesome pretty sure he's gonna come out with something amazing soon see you